I am so excited because this video is gonna be a blind reaction. I have not seen this video. It's all about ovulation, but let's watch it together. Ovulation is a part of the menstrual cycle when the ovary releases a ripe egg or ovum. Inside the ovary are hundreds of thousands of follicles. Each follicle is a hollow ball of cells with an immature egg in the center. The tip Already, I am so obsessed with this animation. Unbelievable. I loved how it showed just going in straight into the pelvis. You can see the uterus and how the fallopian tubes lay, how the ovaries are. You can see the close relationship between the fallopian tube and the ovary. This is amazing. The 28-day menstrual cycle begins on the first day of menstrual bleeding. During the first seven days of the cycle, I quickly want to pause it right there because I get this question all the time as an OBGYN. When we talk about your last menstrual period or when your doctor asks you when your last menstrual period was, we want to know day one of when you started bleeding. So day one of your menstrual cycle is the first day that you see blood. Seven days of the cycle, a few follicles begin to grow at the same time. These maturing follicles secrete estrogen hormone into the bloodstream to prepare the lining of the uterus for pregnancy. Around day seven, all of the follicles stop growing and begin to degenerate, except for one. This dominant follicle continues. So, did you hear that they said around day seven, that's when the follicles all stop growing? So this correlates to day seven of the menstrual cycle. That is why we typically like to divide the menstrual cycle into two phases, one and two. The first phase is called the follicular phase. As they're talking about in this video, this is when the follicles are all forming. Follicular phase, follicles. And nourishes the developing egg inside it. Around day 12, the follicle secretes a large amount of estrogen into the bloodstream. When the estrogen reaches the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland in the brain, the anterior or front part of the pituitary gland releases a huge surge of luteinizing hormone into the bloodstream. Around day 14, luteinizing hormone causes the follicle to undergo a sudden growth spurt. Right before ovulation, the egg detaches from the inside of the follicle. The bulging follicle releases chemicals, causing one of the two fallopian tubes to move in closer and surround the follicle. The follicle swells until... This is incredible. I think this animation is amazing. Real quick, I wanna talk about how I love that the video also included the role of the pituitary gland in the brain in relation to the menstrual cycle. It's absolutely crazy, but the menstrual cycle is really such a special and sensitive thing, and you need so many different parts and elements to work together in order for ovulation to occur. It really is a huge communication system between your ovary, your brain, the uterus, the fallopian tube. Everything needs to run together in order for this process to happen. The follicle swells until it bursts open ejecting the egg and fluid from the follicle into the abdominal cavity. In response, the fimbriae, tiny projections at the end of the fallopian tube, sweep across the ovulation site and pick up the egg. Microscopic cilia on the fimbriae's surface transport the egg to the entrance of the fallopian tube. Inside the walls of the fallopian tube, muscular contractions gently push the egg towards the uterus. After ovulation, the egg lives for 12 to 24 hours, so it must be fertilized by- I'm gonna stop it right there too. Isn't that insane? That egg is only alive for 12 to 24 hours. So this process of ovulation is pretty short-lived. So when we start talking about trying to get pregnant or trying to conceive, that is kind of a tight window there between 12 and 24 hours for everything to line up perfectly. So it must be fertilized by a sperm from the male during this time for a woman to become pregnant. If it's not fertilized, the egg dissolves away and is shed along with the uterine lining during menstruation. I absolutely loved this video. The animation is unreal. I loved how it really correlated all the different parts that need to run together in order for us to have 
one, a nice, normal, regular period. Also showing the importance of ovulation when we start talking about pregnancy. If you're not having ovulation and your ovary or the other ovary isn't spitting out that egg, there's not gonna be a chance of pregnancy. I really hoped you all enjoyed this video. I thought this animation was absolutely amazing. So I wanna give a really special thanks to Nucleus Medical Media for their beautiful 3D animations. If you wanna see more scientifically accurate animations on anatomy, physiology, diseases, and conditions, check out their YouTube channel in the description down below. Check out my other video with them where I react to a 3D animation of a C-section. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Always remember to be kind and show love to everyone around you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.